This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. And welcome all to the 2 p.m. update, where we're off about a little less than a half percent on the S&P 500. NASDAQ's uh, down a quarter of a percent. Uh, Dow 30, uh, three quarters of a percent lower. Uh, the surprise is the Russell 2000 up uh, nine-tenths of a percent. Uh, crude down a little less than two percent. And uh, gold eh, flat on the day. So what do we have uh, that I think is interesting? And that is uh, multiple, multiple retests of 36.36 on the S&P uh, cash, which has been the low that I wanted to go back and retest. Uh, but uh, the volume may be, well, in fact, uh, it was uh, about 15 minutes ago, the lowest volume in three months for the last two hour period. Uh, and that's saying something in front of things like uh, the uh, FOMC meetings, uh, but we may be headed more back to uh, the lowest volume in two hours uh, for four months now. So I'm going to keep track of that, but we continue to cha uh, challenge a low that had 18 billion shares. Right now we got about 6.3 billion shares as we get ready to start the show. And so there's not a lot of volume. But uh, it's not that easy. Um, markets tend to do one of two things. Bottom on very light volume, and those are fairly long-term lows. Or hang out at those lows, even at light volume, and slowly chew through the bottom. Generally, that gives you some time uh, to get out because they don't race through those lows. Generally, the lows are blown out by fairly big volume, and there's uh, no real reason to argue whether it's a bull or bear market when they do that. So, hang on. We'll have the show here in just a minute, but uh, a lot of stuff going on. We'll be back in a minute. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. 